This weekend's UFC event, uh, we have a fight night card going down in Charlotte. It's Jarzinho Rosenstroik versus Jarlton Almeida. Um, Almeida has been this massive prospect since signing for the UFC, fought at both light heavyweight and heavyweight. Seems to have kind of found a home at heavyweight, which allows him to fight regularly. He's not as big and heavy as some of these other guys, but he his skill set is, is um, very high level and, and just getting him win after win after win. Uh, this is his biggest fight to date. Uh, Ro- Rosenstroik has been in the top 10 for a, a while now. He has some big KOs on his record, but he's also sort of shown himself to be gun shy, low output, and susceptible to wrestling heavy approaches. He's which, good, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he's all right, but the thing is, when you get good fighters at heavyweight, they tend yeah. to just run through everyone. Just like it's a rarity that you find a heavyweight that actually has good grapple, like is competent in grappling. Um, yeah. I just think. Rosen strike isn't. I think he'll get taken down and, and submerged pretty quickly. He's obviously dangerous on the feet, but like I just think his run of form recently has been very yeah. poor. Um and Almeida. I rate him. I don't know how far I don't I I wouldn't I'm not gonna proclaim him as a future champion, but he's definitely very talented. Yeah. Very athletic. Um yeah, I think he'll get it done. Um I think he'll probably sub him inside two rounds or something like that. Yeah, or even ground and he's a good ground and pound, um, yeah, like striker as well. So, like, yeah, and Rosenstrike's low output. Um, I just, well, what are you laughing at? Rosenstrike, I mean, you're just like, you're trying to, you're trying to like think of descriptive words that are, that are nicer. <laughs> um, you know, he's uh, but um, I think Rosenstrike <laughs> needs you to stand and stand and bang with him for him to be successful, really. Um, yeah. Obviously, got power. and even then it's hit or miss. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know. He's like all right to watch. I think sometimes I think, but again, it's a pretty nothing heavyweight bout that it is. has no no real interest or meaning to it. So yeah. well, um, no, basically, it's a it's a showcase fight for Almeida that yeah. gets him into the top ten. That's 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 the goal of it, uh, and I think that's what happened. Yeah, like you say, within uh, the first round or two, um, probably doesn't even need to be a main event bout. But um, it, oh, Frank, it helps Frank, our mates. It, it does. It, of course, it does. You know, <laughs> they thought. Yeah. Out of all enough, the options, enough. they thought this one. This is the one. They need. We need well, this. It's a decent. Right. Like they're going to Charlotte, aren't they? So it's yeah. like they've not even usually when they go places. At least be decent about it and put that on. The, put that in the apex. All right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> get a good. Get a good main event for this. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, well, I, know. I mean, you say that, but look at the run of events you've got coming up oh like it's God. not really anyway well what would you rather Rosenstruck versus Almeida main event or Anthony Smith versus Johnny Walker as a main event uh, honestly I think like do you know what honestly because the because the main event will end in two rounds I don't actually have to watch five rounds of it so, yeah you know, it's maybe not too, maybe not too much of a difference maker considering how durable Smith is that one might run late so yeah I, I just I'm not I would probably it's a tough one because yeah. Walker and Smith haven't been great of of late. I know Smith's challenged for titles, and yeah. you know the well, reason be big names. But what's the, what's the read on that fight though? Smith oh, versus Walker. Oh, that just is light heavyweight is stupid. So do you know what? <laughs> Walker will probably take down and submit Anthony Smith or something <laughs> stupid like that, and really, do you know what triangle I mean? him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he probably will. Um, oh, Lord. I think Walker struggles with heavy hitters. Um, that's yeah. his like that's who he's really come unstuck against. Smith's not a particularly heavy hitter, but uh, I think Smith will um really like himself in the in the grappling department. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I, yeah. I favor Smith just because I think he's got a more versatile skill set. He is durable. Um, yeah. Walker, if he can't knock you out, he's well, and there was that one weird fight with Tiago Santos when he tried to like outfight with him, which yeah, less said the better. I I, I think this is Smith's like to win, yeah. um, barring a, a weird, I don't know, Rolling Thunder KO from. Wouldn't j- j- honestly, yeah, would yes, not be... it's light heavyweight is dumb, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise like it, like I could see Smith getting knocked out. Like he's got a good chin, but Walker 
they're they're light yeah. heavyweights re- realistically if someone cracks you you're going to you're going out um mm. but yeah i think smith will like himself in a grappling department but johnny but, walker is just like weird and he just you can just yeah. do weird like I don't know. he's just got weird power and he just like he just does so it just it has a meme 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 result written absolutely oh, all over it absolutely right um speaking of memes i think <laughs> <laughs> or jokes <laughs> <laughs> ian gary the future uh is taking on daniel rodriguez in the coco main event um this is probably the best fight on the card though like mm-hmm. genuinely um they're two fringe Top fifteen welterweights, um, you know, even a top twenty welterweight is probably better than a top ten heavyweight. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good. Like, I know you're not a fan of Gary, but he has looked good. Like, like what he yeah. did, to Gabe Green, uh, the last fight against Kenan Song, uh, despite getting dropped, he still he looked, looked great. very. Yeah, the 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 jab and the strike selection, um. It is is good. I think this is his time. I think Daniel Rodriguez is a good opponent for him because um, he's a striker. He's super durable. He's I don't think he's going to get finished, but he's slow, much slower than Gary. Yeah. Um. I really think Gary can do a number on him, and um, and is is going to get a, a decision decision victory in this one. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same. I think uh, Rodriguez will struggle with the the speed, and I think. Gary should use because his kicks have been looking good. I think he should use more mm-hmm. of them in this one. Keep it on the outside, kind of frustrate Rodriguez. Maybe catch him if he, you know, he starts swinging coming in late. But yeah, uh, listen, Rodriguez is live in this one. He's a uh, he's game as yeah. anything. He's tough and he can walk really whack. And I think as much as I think, because all all credit to Big E and he has showed improvement in in every fight. I know he's yeah. You know, um, like each fight, you can see that he's he's kind of taking a bit of a level up, uh, especially in the his last one. But uh, I think he's a KO waiting to happen. To be honest, I just think he's we've we've seen vulnerability against um, lower level opposition. Um, Jordan Williams in his debut. <laughs> oh God! It's uh, so, but yeah, I think I think he'll win it. Uh, I think he probably maybe win it by decision. Kind of stay on the outside. I think if he's smart, he shouldn't go like you know. He's not going to have a a dust up with Rodriguez, but he is. Uh, I could see. I think Gary will eventually get KO'd by someone. Yeah, yeah. There are some. Oh, I mean, like Jack Della, something like that. Oh God! Uh, you just. Oh God! <laughs> you destroy him. <laughs> oh God! Uh, you see, Jack Della's been booked against Sean Brady. Officially now, because yeah, Sean Brady somewhere. just doesn't know how to strike apparently, so I'm sure it'll be yeah. fine. But he might outgrab them. Who knows? Yeah, um, yeah, it's a great fight. That uh, Rodriguez is definitely Gary's toughest test today. Yeah, uh, but I think it's a well-made fight from the the matchmakers because D Rod is getting on a bit. He's not looked so good in some of his yeah. last fights, um, and. A win over him will get Gary into the top fifteen, which is what the UFC want. So, yeah, I think fun. it's it's perfect to kind of show off because Rodriguez is willing to strike, but you know he's not going to try and take him down, and and he's yeah he's the perfect kind of body to show off Ian Gary's skills and also get really a, get a good name and you know kind of capitalize yeah. on, on what Reed, Rodriguez is bringing. So you know, in terms Absolutely. of Gary, yeah, fair play because he's got a good way into the. Um, into the top 15. Um, who is he trying to call out again? There was someone... Oh, I can't even think. Barbarina? Oh, yeah. He was trying to call out Brian Barbarina before. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. 